this is autism speaks so all that money yeah don't just don't Hi, this is Lucia of Lucia's Neurodivergent Life, previously known as The Life of an Aspie, and today we're going to be reacting to a video by Autism Speaks called Light It Up Blue, or Why Do You Hashtag Light It Up Blue. It's only about uh, 20 second, 27 seconds long, but let's have a look. I wear blue because I advocate for those who don't have a voice and also for my community. Wear blue on April 2. <laughs> okay, and that's it. So, a uh, couple issues right off the bat. I mean, first, it looks probably to most people like a harmless video that's like happy and positive which is probably what Autism Speaks, you know, wants to put out there. Um, the first thing that I noticed is right here. Um, it says for people with autism. So um, most people, for some reason, specifically a lot of non-autistic people assume that people with autism is more politically correct than seeing um, autistic or autistic person. Majority of autistic people prefer being called autistic people, um, which is identity first language instead of for person first language. Um, there are some people on the spectrum who prefer person first language. So if they tell you they want to be called a person with autism, then, you know, by all means, definitely respect that. Everyone's got their own preference. Best thing is to ask each person, you know, what do you want me to call you? Um, but yeah, overall, majority of autistic people do prefer the term autistic because um, people with autism kind of implies that autism is something that is separate from you. Um, it kind of buys into the idea that autism is something that can be removed or cured or overcome, which is not true because autism is a neurotype. It's sort of like having, um, it's like your operating system. Everyone's got a different operating system. That doesn't mean that, you know, yours is bad um, just because it's different. It's like saying that neurotypical people are Apple or Mac operating systems while Autistic people are Windows operating systems, and but just because we're in the minority doesn't mean that we're invalid. So, yeah, that was my first gripe with this. This light is bothering me. <laughs> I have sensory issues, okay? Um, so, other than that, I mean, obviously this is for the Light It Up Blue campaign for Autism Speaks, which um, in and of itself is problematic. I don't want to get into why... I mean... I can explain why Light It Up Blue is problematic. It's because it's tied to Autism Speaks, but then I'd have to explain why Autism Speaks is problematic. And there's already lots of videos out there on the topic. You'll probably see one um, suggested in this video somewhere. Something might pop up um, or check the description to explain why a majority of autistic people don't support Autism Speaks. There's, there's a lot of problematic things with it. Um, so Light It Up Blue is just drawing more attention to this problematic organization. Um, also what he says here also worried me a little bit. I wear blue because I advocate for those who don't have a voice and also for- So he says he advocates for those who don't have a voice, which on the surface to most people probably seems like a noble endeavor. You know, you gotta help people who can't help themselves and things like that. Um, the problem is, is it kind of insinuates that autistic people can't communicate or advocate for themselves, which is totally untrue. Um, there are a lot of autistic people who are nonverbal, so maybe that's what they're thinking of when they think autistic people don't have a voice. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't communicate. There are lots of ways to communicate. Um, a lot of nonverbal people or people who struggle with verbal speech might use communication boards, um, AAC, 
sign language. There are all kinds of other ways to communicate and they're all equally valid. And a lot of us are verbal. I'm verbal and I'm autistic. There are autistics who are hyperverbal as well. I'm probably one of them, but the difference is just, we just communicate differently and we might communicate on our own terms. And yeah, so I think it's just, it's problematic to assume that autistic people can't advocate for ourselves or can't communicate because we do all the time. Um, we just might get pushed aside or misunderstood, um, not just in everyday life, but also with uh, autistic self-advocacy, like on the internet, Autism Speaks gets the majority of the spotlight and they are mostly run by non-autistic people. And on the other hand, there are a lot of um, autistic run organizations and pages and blogs that they are nowadays, thankfully, they are getting more views, um, but overall they need a lot more exposure. And so one of the best things that you can do for April for Autism Awareness Month, personally, I prefer Autism Acceptance Month, um, but it does help for people to be aware at least of other organizations that are run by autistic people that do good for autistic people. Like tangible things that we actually need, tangible societal change, changes that we need. Promoting a more humanizing view of autism instead of like a list of symptoms or like the medical model view of autism, which Autism Speaks very strongly seems to, to use. I noticed that there's another video which has a similar title, uh, Why Do You Light It Up Blue? And I haven't checked that one out yet, so I'm gonna take a look. Okay, other than the obnoxious, r repeated clapping thing, which seemed to be on a loop the entire time, um, one thing that I did notice, something that's a positive, is they include people of color. And that's great, because it's showing that it's not just, you know, like, young white boys who, who are autistic. So it looks like their intention was to show support for family members on the spectrum, which is not inherently a bad thing. One thing I should mention though, Autism Speaks tends to target um, parents of autistic children. So like you'll hear a lot of parents saying very positive things about Autism Speaks, but not so much from autistic people themselves, unless you go and you ask autistic people, and then 98% of the time, they're probably going to tell you they don't like Autism Speaks. Probably depends on what community you're in, honestly. I know there are some autistics who like Autism Speaks. Um, I haven't met very many of them. Oh, one other positive thing. This guy's dance is dope. Loving the dance. I mean, I like that they're all, like, happy and stuff. It's, like, it's annoying because it's, like, it's, it's such a, like, happy and positive video. And yet, it's just an organization that's just, eh. This is Autism Speaks, so that money, pfft, yeah. Don't, just don't. Just, I don't have much else to say other than that. And and there is an annoying repetitive, uh, Okay, I won't torture my, my ears anymore with that, but. You can help by sharing um, other autistic advocates online. There are also some organizations run by autistic people that are, in my opinion, a much better alternative to Autism Speaks. Also, this is the opinions of a lot of other autistic people I know. Um, autistic Self-Advocacy Network and Autism Women and Non-Binary Network. They are doing a lot of good. They are run by autistic people, autistic approved. They are so great. Check them out. Um, put some links in the description. I'm also part of a, a group of autistic gamers who stream every month. Um, we do this event called the Autistic Gaming Initiative, 
and our live streams are for raising money for those two organizations specifically. So you could check out the Autistic Gaming Initiative, watch some of our streams, share our streams, uh, share our events. But yeah, overall, those two organizations are great. They're also on Facebook. Share them and you can also start a fundraiser on Facebook with them as well. And yeah, they're awesome. I also have a link pinned to the top of my page for all of April, which is a list of a very long list of autistic self-advocates. Uh, check them all out, follow them. They're awesome. Spread the word, get them all out there. A lot of them need a lot more exposure so that we can promote a more humanizing view of autism and to show that we are not something to be feared. We have a voice and we are worth listening to. Thank you and you have a great day. Stay safe, stay at home, and I wish you the best of luck in April. Bye. If there's any videos or posts that you want to see me react to or talk about in one of my videos, please message me or better yet, comment below. I'll probably be more likely to see it in the comments. For more videos on neurodiversity, autism, and mental health, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you like what I do and you want to see me continue, please consider supporting my work. Donation link is in the description. Thanks for watching, you're awesome, and I like waffles.